Hi guys, Joe here. In today's short video, I want to ask the question, are we still human? I actually thought of that question on the drive to the stables this morning. Um, and on the back of a video that I watched by Robert Seffer yesterday, and his video was basically highlighting the importance of us remaining connection with nature it's important for us to go out and, and make sure that we have that connection the more and more we become um um attached to technology if we want to remain human then we need to make sure that we are going out and we are connecting with nature so um it got me thinking about the gradual move that I now see it for what it is towards this transhuman agenda. And if you've, and those of you who watched my video with Dan and the John D and the Francis Bacon, we, we talked on that and the origins of the New World Order and where it all started. And it basically all started back in the 1800s or even 1600s, I think it might be from memory. Um, and of course the technology has become more and more advanced but it's all been very softly softly and before we know it we are trapped in this plantation um, of technology and most of us aren't even aware of it so and they're trying to get rid of nature and if you look at all the fake plants the fake grass I mean I've got fake plants here right fake plants and I've got those because I find it difficult to keep plants alive um, but I've got fake plants and I said to someone a few years ago I will never understand why somebody will will buy fake plants but I've I've bought them because oh because I struggle to keep stuff alive um, so I have now become part of the movement of fakery so we've got fake eyebrows fake eyelashes fake boobs, fake bums, fake muscles, um, that's with the physical. Going into the digital, I watched a video yesterday um, of this woman basically using an app to change her look, um, you know, put makeup on and change the skin tone, the skin colour. So the fakery has now extended to apps on our phones that we can use to deceive um, what we really look like. And it, it all kind of started, you know, remember, remember the, the sculpturing makeup? There were all these tutorials coming out a few years back of how to sculpt your face and sculpt your stomach and sculpt your leg muscles by using makeup. So what exactly is natural these days? More and more people are opting for... Um, fake looks it's all materialistic and when I say materialistic I'm not talking about the material of financial materialism stuff the materialism has come to our very beings and we are losing the essence of spirituality of who we truly are which is spirit and that is all by design. The whole purpose of the transhuman agenda is to push beings into matter so that they can become fully controllable. Now, in this video, uh, Robert Seffer states, um, the line between technology and genetics has been blurred um, via Neuralink ultra high bandwidth connecting, basically connecting humans and computer. So, there are many there are many apps out there that can assess our auras our sleep patterns our health in general ask the question how an inanimate technology object can connect and read our physical beings it's because we have nanotechnology inside of us and at the moment we're not really most are not really feeling the effects or they're ignoring the fact um, that we are being governed by technology I remember a few years ago a friend said to me I was having trouble sleeping 
and he said why don't you um, install this app on your phone which can tell you the kind of sleep that you've had and I'm like no why on earth would I want a machine AI technology to be telling me about my internal self no I don't want to be part of that um, so I've been seeing this word called CRISPR doing the rounds and it basically means clustered, regu clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats and what that is, is it's a technology that makes use of an enzyme derived from a bacteria that cuts into DNA strands, creating an opening where a new segment can be fused into place. So they're basically genetically modifying. Now, I knew this genetic modification was going on back in 2020. I knew something was playing out, but I didn't know enough about it. And of course, people. When you talk to the, when you talk to people about this kind of thing, they just think of sci-fi movies. Um, and I've done enough. Honestly, Blue. Wherever Rufus is sat, Blue has to be where Rufus is. He's a pain in the backside. Um, he's a passive-aggressive bully. Look, can you see him in the background there? Rufus is just nice and fast asleep. Um, so, so basically. So th this technology that makes use of an enzyme derived from a bacteria that cuts into DNA strands, creating an opening where a new segment can be fused into place. And like I said, when I, when I spoke to people about this, the mRNA poke, um, they just think that you, it's conspiracy and you talk to, you're talking out of your back end. But if but if you if you think about when we look at animals, the wolf has been genetically engineered to be morphed into a chihuahua. Look at the different types of breeds of cats, horses, dogs, as an example. They're now breeding horses, Arabs in particular, with really dipped faces and, and their snouts are about that wide. You know, long term, it's going to have a very... Um, it's not going to be beneficial to the horse's health. All for aesthetics, materialism. They're breeding dressage horses um, to move in certain ways. So if they can do that with animals, why can't they do it with us? And they've been doing it for a long, long time. And if you think about the move of, of the move towards us accepting this unnatural um this unnatural view of when we look at a person. So let's take Katie Price as an example. She looks like a man in drag, the amount of makeup that she wears, the amount of Botox that she's had, and the amount of plastic surgery that she's had. And you see it a lot now with young girls and equally boys, you know. Um, you've got the transgender movement. It's all this move, all of this is a move towards accepting the unnatural aspect of what it means to be a human being. Um, and it's all been softly, softly, because if you do it too fast, people are going to kick up a stink and go, you know, um, they can control our emotions because of the technology that we have inside of us. The 5G towers now going to um, 6G they are such high frequencies that they can interfere with, with the frequency of our, of our being um, and a friend of mine she reminded me of something uh, something that happened years back which at the time it happened I thought nothing of it I just thought it was two crazy twins that had run across the motorway so about 14 years ago there were two um, a couple of Swedish twins and they ran along across the M6 got hit um, by a truck the police caught them um, tried to hold them down one of them was far far too strong and the police described it as them being superhuman and she ran off against the, uh, uh, across the motorway again before after she'd been hit by another truck she got up and she ran off now having a conversation with my friend we, we we came to the conclusion that that was actually an experiment they were being um controlled remotely controlled 
And as the police stated, they were superhuman. It, I think it took six police officers to hold one of these women down eventually. And I think one of them went off to stab someone. I didn't see the whole clip, but I do remember when it happened. And when I watched it a few days ago, I said to my friend, I said, hang on a minute, the police were, were, were ordered to do something there that because if they had a, if they had a couple of suspects that they believed to be psychotic they would have closed the motorway down on both sides and the police didn't so i believe that the police were instructed as part of this experiment of course the police wouldn't have known it was an experiment as part of an experiment to keep the motorway open to see what happens and that is the danger of this technology we are we are in an open plantation a greenhouse if you like um, and we are being openly experimented on and people are not accepting this you know um, but if you were to take the time to look into all of this which I accept it's frightening it's frightening and it's scary to think that the potentiality of what could be um, but I'm just going to read what CRISPR is again to help you understand what is going on and make the connection with the genetic modifications that have been made with animals to create the different breeds that we have and to accept that genetic modification is a thing and is being done so clustered so crispr clustered regularly interspaced short power palindromic repeats this is technology that makes use of an enzyme derived from a bacteria that cuts into DNA strands creating an opening where a new segment can be fused into place. Now just going back to the video that I did on the Queen's ceremony a few months ago where she pressed a button and a DNA strand lit up and it went to the tree of life. And the DNA strand had three segments. I can't remember what the what the segments are called, but it had three segments. Our natural DNA only has two. A third segment has been added to people's DNA strand. We have something inside of us, a crystal called graphene oxide nanotechnology, and that is controlled by frequency some of you in this movement may have seen slabs of graphene oxide and people are playing music and this graphite ox graphite 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 it dances to the frequency of the music so therefore it can be controlled and this is what the experiment starting 2020 has all been part of um, let's hope this video stays on YouTube because another one that I had taken down and that makes you question why there are some channels out there that can say whatever they want and speak whatever truth they feel like speaking and they've got hundred and, over 100,000 um, followers and they get to keep a channel me with just below 200 followers I say something where I, I use a letter to describe something and that video gets taken down and I get a warning um, that just highlights who is paid and who isn't anyway i hope this, you found this video useful um i have been sharing on my social media uh, which i don't get much traction um with because i don't really i'm not really a social media kind of person i'm not an influence in any way shape or form but a guy called james tunney an absolute wealth of knowledge um going right back to um the 1800s talking about francis bacon john d um, talking right up to where we are now with this transhuman agenda, the origins of it all, and what we can do to protect our spirit, spiritual selves. I actually emailed him, Dan, who, I did, who I've been doing interviews with. He asked me to contact him. I would never have contacted someone like James Tunney uh, because of the, you know my knowledge compared to his. It, it's not non-comparable. Um, but Dan said, invite him onto your channel and let's let's quiz him about Francis Bacon. Um, and James Tunney has actually replied. I'm yet to work out if the email is actually an acceptance of the invitation to come on my Wii channel. Um, but um, let's see, let's see. I would be absolutely honoured to have someone of that, um, of that wealth of knowledge on my small channel. I shall speak to you all soon, guys. Just bear in mind what I've said. This isn't sci-fi. 
the sci-fi movies have been predictively programming us to accept what's actually playing out and humanity will soon be a thing of the past and my screen just gone off so before i can shut you all off i need to log in um there we go and i'll speak to you all soon guys see you later bye